number three, Elton Jones. Candidate number three, Elton Jones. Candidate number two, Leroy Flon. Candidate number one, Leonard Priest. Leonard Priest again. Leonard Priest. Leonard Priest. Leonard. Oops. This is invalid. We have an invalid vote. This person voted for two persons, Leonard Priest and Christoph Emmanuel, and then they said, oops. <laughs> you go up a little bit. Please. Moving on, Leonard Priest, 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 and Leonard Priest. For the OSPP, district number four, the total votes is 18 votes, correct? Moving on to the Christian Party. Candidate number nine, that is Michael Somersall. Candidate number seven, Francis Mauricia. Candidate number eight, Pedrito Arundel. Candidate number five, Beverly Gibbs. Candidate number six, Benjamin Bell. Benjamin Bell again. Benjamin Bell. Benjamin Bell. Benjamin Bell, candidate number four, Claude Peterson. Claude Peterson again. Claude Peterson, Claude Peterson, Claude Peterson, Claude Peterson, Claude Peterson, Claude Peterson, Claude Peterson. Candidate number two, Keith Peter John, Keith Peter John Gittens. Candidate number two again, Keith Peter John Gittens. Gittens again. Gittens again. Gittens. 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 Candidate number one, Wycliffe Smith. Wycliffe Smith. Wycliffe Smith. Wycliffe Smith. Wycliffe Smith, 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 and Wycliffe Smith. District number four for the St. Martin Christian Party is a total of 45 valid votes. Okay, moving on to the following party, which is the Unite of the U.S. Party. Candidate number two, Anna Rabess. 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 Candidate number three, Maurice Lake. Maurice Lake again. Lake, Lake. Candidate number one, Franz Richardson. Franz Richardson again. Franz Richardson. 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 France Richardson, 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 France Richardson. France Richardson, 
Candidate number three, Maurice Lake. Lake again. Lake. Lake. This person did not fill in any name but put an X above the U.S. party. This person voted for two persons on the U.S. party. This person did not color the circle, but colored a number on the Theodore Helicker and also number two. Six. This person placed six X's on their ballot. This person colored out the name number 21 on the up party. This is also invalid, number 10 up. This person voted for two persons, number one on the US party and number one on the up party. This person also voted for two persons on the U.S. party. This is also invalid. Also invalid. This person colored out the face of a candidate. <laughs> this is also an invalid vote. And this person voted for two person, number two up party, number 11 US party. Do we have in this district? Okay. Thirty-seven invalid. You can answer. These can go back. Yeah. For district number four, we have a total of thirty-seven invalid votes. Prior to the break, we received a request, uh, basically a petition from uh, Sarah Westcott Williams asking for, to see the process for ballot from all the, the districts. We will hold off on that decision and at the end of counting all districts, we will render a decision in that, uh, upon that request. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much today for your patience and also conducting yourself in a very good manner and not obstructing the, this, the meeting today. I would like to thank you a lot. Thanks for your presence, and hopefully see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Life is a journey full of connections. You're in safe hands, even when life starts too soon. You don't have to miss a single beat. When a bad hair day makes you sad, just sharing can bring you joy and more to come. They take the plunge, turn fear into faith, while you capture those beautiful moments. In the game of life, it's family that counts. They'll be there even when you lose. We all have our moments of reflection and hope. And when you feel you're losing everything in life, we're there because there's more to come. When life starts too soon, you don't have to miss a single beat. We're here to connect you and share life. Tell so when you 
want more. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Need a loan that's quick and easy. Island Finance. Up to 50,000 give us real easy. Island Finance. For education, yes. a renovation. Yes. That's no problem. Ooh. Yes, it's true. That's not all. They're quick and friendly too. Island Finance. Appliances, vacations, even fix your car. You can depend on Island Finance. These are the doors that never close. These are the hands that make a difference. These are the walls that could tell countless stories of helping and healing, of storms weathered, of change and growth, of a place where life begins, where hearts are mended, and where hope grows stronger. For more than a quarter of a century, the physicians, medical professionals and staff of St. Martin Medical Center have combined advanced medical technology and compassionate care to bring a world of medicine to our friends, neighbors and visitors to the island of St. Martin we all call home. As proud as we are of what we have accomplished, we believe there is still much work to do to continue a proud tradition of providing everyone in our community with the latest technology, the best medicine, and the most exceptional care. St. Martin Medical Center, celebrating 25 years of serving, caring, healing. We have Mr. Rogers, you're doing the content from yesterday and today. Uh, how many days more do you have to get a whole complete overall count? Would it take you two more days or uh, today you would plot to, to wrap up everything? Well, we're not sure. As you know, we have 20 polling districts in total. We have covered one until five years today, and uh, a couple of them were big districts. And today we're continuing right now. We're breaking before the lunch. It's now 1.30. We have done eight districts. And one of the districts was, of course, a very huge district, district number eight, which was up to, uh, I think it was 1,500 um, persons. So we uh, that's the district that we covered. After the lunch, we're going to proceed until um, you know we're fit enough to continue. And how would you say it going so far? It's very difficult to uh, get in the counts and um, up, or are you experiencing any difficulties? No, right now we're just counting everything as we open in the suitcases and we're counting. The counting is going pretty well uh, so far. Of course, there are a number of people that voted, a whole lot of people, so therefore it will take time in order to count. What we've noticed is, is that during the counting, some of the ballots that were declared invalid are now declared valid by the voting bureau because during the election night, the members of the polling station in the district, they have declared some votes invalid, whereas when we take a second look at it, they are declared valid now. And the opposite also um, applies because some of the votes that were declared valid are now, are some of them, it's just a very few, or you can count a few of them on your hands, whether one or two, and they're now declared invalid. And how many days more do you think before you finish wrap up all of this? Well, it is important that we do it in a very accurate and transparent manner. That's what we're all about. So it is not so that we're going to say, well, listen, we must have it done within everything counted today. Because if it is that we feel that um, just saying, for instance, 5 or 6 o'clock that we're tired and that we're not fit and sharp enough in order to count, we're going to stop. I'm going to adjourn. Because it's better to say, you know what, you take an extra day as opposed to going on feeling tired and not counting accurately.
So in order to answer your question, how many days do it take still, I do not know. I do um, project that we might be here tomorrow again. Okay, knowing and that. Also, one of the things is, is that, again, some of the districts that we're covering right now, there are bigger districts, but if you look at some of the upcoming districts too that we still have, like the Justice Academy, we have the prison, and also the senior citizen, the, the senior home, those are relatively small districts. So those will be counted pretty quickly. My last question to you, uh, knowing that it's taking so many days to complete the whole conversation with all the different districts, is there any plans in the future to make it a lot more easier for you for you all? Well, um, that's uh, what we're going to do after the entire process is done here. And when I'm saying the entire process, up until when all parliamentarians are um, sworn in, what we're going to do is we're going to sit back with our entire team again, not only the central voting bureau, but all stakeholders involved in order to evaluate what went well, what went wrong, what can change. Because, of course, nothing is a perfect system. And it's important that as we go, it, we all know as we go forward, that you will learn certain things in terms of, hey, how can it go better the next time? And that's definitely what we're going to do. And um, just speaking with the members of the polling station, for instance, and also the calling team here at the headquarters, the information. One of the things that we can look at is uh, digital and the digitalizing the information because instead of calling them in, you can say the members of the polling station, they can put it right in your system right away and it can show up here at headquarters. Because as you call in, some information can be lost in the process of calling. Hence the reason that you will see online initially a, um, an error by one point, for instance, or two points. And whereas, you know, well, it is not the amount that was initially called in because it's a long day and you have in that room a few callers too. So they're hearing information, other calls as well. So in that process, you can lose the information. And it's not intentionally, but it happens at time because it's human work. So I think it will be more accurate if we go over to a system whereby we can actually put in the information of the polling district right away online. So they put in that information. And here at headquarters, we see it right away. And of course, if there are any questions, you can then call to that particular polling station. Well, and those are just one of the things, but there are a few other things that we can actually look at in uh, improving as we go along. My oh my, what an inventory list, and so unnecessary. But wait, your home contents are all insured by Be Sure. That means that you determine the amount you want to insure. No inventory list, no asshole. Are you Be Sure? Be Sure. <laughs> Bob, I can understand why you're parking so carefully. Of course, when you can get 80% discount on your Be Sure car insurance. <laughs> but that's overdoing it, Bob. Are you be sure? Be sure. Yeah. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. One. Two. Three. Four. This is how common it is to develop a mental illness. One out of every four. 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 But there is hope. Today, most mental illnesses can be managed and treated. Visit your general doctor if you feel concerned about your thoughts and behaviors or have some difficulty dealing with some of life's issues. If you have been diagnosed and are suffering from a mental illness, keep in mind these four points to help you manage your mental health. One, get regular checkups with your general doctor. Two, stay on your treatment plan to prevent relapses. Three, find a strong support group in your family and friends. And four, never be afraid to ask for help and look up for the one in signs of your illness. Remember, you are not alone. We are as close as one. Two. Three.
three. Four. Learn about mental health illness by going to the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mhf-sxm.com.